So the next store on our Japanese shopping adventure today is Second Street. And Second Street is one of my favorite stores when it comes to thrift and secondhand shopping here in Japan. They often carry a lot of good hype brands like Supreme, Vape, Neighborhood, Mastermind, and the list continues. They have a lot of good stuff and it's somewhat fairly reasonable prices, but it depends where you're gonna go. So we're gonna go and test our luck. And also, huge thank you to Low Flow, Low Flow, hope I, hopefully I got your name right, for uh, being the first channel member and making these videos possible. Appreciate your support, man. And uh, oh, here it is, Second Street, where you shop. Let's check it out. Don't you know I'm still So we are going up to the uh, second floor right now and it looks like there's a lot more of the d designer clothing than I thought there was. It's less streetwear, more designer. I think I got Second Street and Kindle mixed up, but a lot of designer stuff. You guys just have the Louis Vuitton bags or Louis Vuitton purses and wallets. There's a lot of girl stuff. So if you're a girl, Second Street is probably more up your alley versus if you're a guy because like this is all women's bags and women's clothing too. Put the lights on so you see what I can do. All right, so now now we're on the top floor, the men's floor, and there's quite a few good things here. But check it out: we got the undercover Element React 87s. We have a Y3 belt here in orange. So I'll look around, show you guys some of the best finds. So these undercover Nike Element React 87s are going for 26,000 yen. They're quite worn quite beat but I mean if you were looking for a pair and you can't seem to find your size this is a pretty good option a size nine and a half Air Jordan 11 cool grays for 19,900 yen that's freaking awesome here's a look at some more of the sneakers check it out they got some Diodoras right here in this really really loud colorway then we also got a bunch more sneakers on these racks so let's go through them we got some bread 13s for 18,000 yen we got the uh, powder blue Jordan 3 14,900 yen. Some Air More Up Tempos. We got some new Dunks that came out not too long ago. 8,000 yen, not too shabby, I like these. Ooh, Air Max TNs. The international flags all over here. 17,000. We got some of the Altitudes. We got, what are these over here? Some, ooh, Air Jordan 1 Wheats, not too bad. We got some Carmine Ones, and I have a funny story about the Carmine Ones. I once resold a pair on Facebook, and then when I was selling them to the customer, he was about to change his mind because he was disappointed that it had Nike Air on the tongue. He wanted the Jumpman on the tongue on his Carmine Ones. I was like, bro, I already came all the way here. You may as well buy these. Black History Month Jordan 3s, about 20K yen. What on earth are these? I'm not even sure. Are these like a championship pack Jordan 8? I thought there was supposed to be like confetti, but check it out, we got Jordan's footprints, like, or footprints, fingerprints on the shoe. Size nine and a half, going for 14,900 yen. I really like that golden metallic. This, this is dope. This is a shoe that actually got me really, really into Adidas a couple years ago. They are the Adidas ZX Flux, the prism colorway. And uh, I love these things a lot. I have a pair I still wear. These are 12,900 yen. A little bit expensive. I was able to pick mine up for like 80 bucks Canadian or 90 bucks Canadian because I bought them on Facebook. But size 27 and a half. This is my size too. I don't need to double up, but like, look, these are really, really clean. Like, there's almost no creasing at all. And uh, the bottoms are like, yeah, this is this is great. I love I love coming to like secondhand stores like this, finding older releases in really great condition for pretty good prices too. We have the white mountaineering Adidas NMD R1s for 7,900 yen. A little bit of Vapor Max selection going on here too. We got some triple blacks. We got this like Spider-Man color one here too. Check these out. We got some Nike Air Max 97 undefeated. Really, really clean, but a bit expensive. I'm not sure what the, these go for brand new, so I can't say if this is a good deal or not, but. Looks like they're in pretty decent shape, maybe like 7 out of 10 condition. And besides the uh, Air Jordan 11 cool grays that they have, they also got the, uh, I forgot the name of these ones, shoot. But they didn't sell too well, I think they sat for quite some time. And then they also got the uh, Air Jordan, I think Fear 3s? I believe Fear 3s, don't uh, correct me if I'm wrong actually, correct me if I'm wrong. We got the uh, Air Max 97s right here too, and then we got the Rockefeller Air Force 1s quality on these are really really nice there's the uh, little embroidery on the back right there too here's a look at more of the air maxes we got some silver bullets we got some 98s some 95s we got some triple white ultra boost or not triple white but the, i think 2.0s with the design we got the uh uncaged ubs oh brand new oh no not brand new but they have the tag still attached that's weird undefeated ultra boost and then down here got some uh, ricardo t ski air force ones 
Chishki. And then these are wild. Oh my gosh. These are really wild. These are 20,000 yen. And uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty pretty high. Wow. And then we got the All-Star here. Jordan 1s. Triple black Raph Simmons right here. My size. Price is not bad at all. But they're really loud. They're really weird. They're definitely an out there shoe. Very futuristic. And then we also have a white version as well for about 10,000 more yen. And it's in the uh, one size larger. So yeah, that's that's there. That's there. We got one of these. We got some black Comme de Garçon Nike Blazers, it looks like. I don't even know they did a collaboration. That's pretty cool. So now we're on the top floor of 2nd Street and this floor particularly specializes in outdoor wear so like a lot of jackets and they also have a lot of Americano fashion so let me just show you guys exactly what that is. So they have like lots of army inspired bomber jackets or vintage jackets right here. Lots and lots of olive ones. We got some camouflage, we got some maroon going on. We got some old school Converse from the 80s going for 15,000 yen. Some older Converse here too going for 9,000 yen. We got some cool jean jackets and stuff over here. Lots of old, old leather shoes. We got a lot of button ups, denim jackets, very popular Americano. And then on this side here, we have a bunch of like vintage sweaters. So I think like uh, college sweaters and stuff like that. And uh, ooh, we got some, some plaid, some plaid going on here too. And check this out in the, uh, the men's sneaker section over here. We got some vape stills going for 1,900 yen. Really, really beat up. A lot of wear into these. Got the stitching on the back, we've got the star on the side. And that's actually really, really cheap, but they're really beat. And uh, yeah, there's not much life left into them, I'd say. Check this out, we found a uh, flannel hoodie, Carhartt brand, 500 yen. Really unique kind of color pattern. We got brown and like this turquoise, not a color scheme you see very often. And it has a hood attached to it too. So if you want to take the hood off, it is attachable. But yeah, that's a pretty cool find for 500 yen. So that will wrap up our time here at 2nd Street. If you guys like this store, there's a lot more like them in Japan. It's like a giant franchise chain. So you'll probably be able to find one in the city that you're in. And also before we went into 2nd Street, I also gave a huge shout out to Low Flow Low Flow uh, for being a new channel member to the channel. For those of you guys who don't know, I haven't really announced this to anybody yet, but I have activated channel memberships for the channel. So if you guys want to support the channel and you're like really, really supportive of the channel and want to give you know some financial uh, backing towards it and make all this content possible, then please feel free to you know become a channel member. You don't have to though, it's not mandatory. Uh, but if you do, there are some pretty cool perks that come with it, like being shouted out in the vlogs just like this. And I'll also have a little shout out card for you guys at the end of the vlogs. And from my personal closet, I sell a lot of sneakers and a lot of clothing. So if you are a channel member, you're gonna get first dibs on those steals. And I have a lot of really good sneakers and clothing for sale. So I'll be doing like a purge once or twice a month and you guys will get first dibs if you are a channel member. So yeah, if you get you know any sort of value from my videos and you wanna support the channel financially, that's one of the new ways that you can, uh, can do so. And if you do, I really, really appreciate it. And if you don't, I still appreciate you watching and commenting and subscribing. That is more than enough for me. So yeah, thank you guys for the continued support. I think Nate is gonna buy some stuff right now. So this section right here has a lot of the streetwear. We got in Hollywood, non-native, undercover, 
Supreme Babes 2C, all that good stuff. Check it out, we got some uh, X-Large right here. The massive logo on the side. We got some Stussy for 2,000 yen. Let's so look at the look at the shirt. Some more Stussy. We got a Babe shirt here. Bathing Ape and Stussy collab. This is 7,000 yen. Tempted to buy this, but uh, I probably know I'm not gonna keep this shirt very clean for a very long time. So let's just put that back. Yo, Nate, what did you find, man? I found some Dornbecker fours, but I'm gonna ask you guys right now because without showing the price, mm -hmm. are these real or are they fake? Leave a comment or something, <laughs> but they're fake. <laughs> Before I forget, would you buy them for 25,000 yen if they were authentic? 25,000 yen? That's a steal I if would. they were. Now the thing is, most of the time in Japan, you, you really don't find fake stuff inside of these stores, but when you do, it's pretty obvious because like the fakes, the quality are just really bad or it's going to be a colorway that they never made. But for the most part, when it comes to Japan, they're very strict on fake stuff, so you're not really going to find them for the most part. Thrift stores like this, here and there, some slip through the cracks, but if you know your stuff just a little bit, you'll be fine. Air Jordan 6 Gatorades right here, and they also have the Air Raging 5, Raging 5, Raging Bull Air Jordan 5, they're going for 20,000 yen. One last find I want to show you guys before we get going, this really cool Burberry jacket, black Burberry jacket, really, really nice, and it's going for about a hundred US dollars. to Shibuya for some more shopping and I gotta say I absolutely love the heated seats on these trains in Japan. TTC needs to step it up. 